When the Lisbon Treaty was negotiated, the UK managed to extract a concession in Protocol 36, allowing it the right to opt out of the criminal justice measures, police and criminal justice measures, made between Maastricht and Lisbon, ahead of the European Court of Justice acquiring jurisdiction over them. This was put in, I think, to enable it to be more easily um, implemented by Parliament against some Eurosceptic feeling in Parliament. But it's been discovered, particularly by the Eurosceptic right in the UK, which have exercised pressure on the government to exercise it, on the basis of, we have this opt-out, so why don't we use it? And the coalition government was persuaded that exercising the opt-out was the right thing to do, and hence it said it's going to exercise the opt-out, though it's then going to ask to opt back in to 35 of the 130 or so, 100, um, 35 of the 130 or so measures. It depends whether the UK succeeds in persuading the Commission and the Council to let it opt back in to the 35 measures on its opt back in wish list. Because if it succeeds in opting back into all of these, these are the ones which actually make a difference. They include, for example, the European arrest warrant, they include the Europol decision, they include the Eurojust decision, actually all the ones which practically impact upon cooperation between the UK and other member states, including, of course, the Republic of Ireland. So if things go as the government hopes they'll go, I think at the end of the day there will be no real practical difference in the way things work in criminal justice matters between the Republic and the United Kingdom. There are two problems, two bad problems with the European arrest warrant. Problem number one is its excessive use by certain countries in cases that are trivial or stale or both. It's quite an extreme measure to uproot somebody from the place where they live and send them off to another country for trial. And there have been, there have been complaints about the unfairness to those involved and also complaints about the waste of resources in the criminal justice systems of, in this case, the UK, in having to find these people and send them back. And the UK government it seeks to amend the UK's implementing legislation by clauses in a bill at present before Parliament to introduce a proportionality test which would give our courts the right to refuse to exercise a European arrest warrant, to execute a European arrest warrant if it was disproportionate. The other part of the problem is that the European arrest warrants sometimes causes people to be sent back for trial in other countries which are then very dilatory in actually dealing with the person concerned and sometimes hold them in pretrial custody for a long period when there's no particular reason to do so. The UK government has a further amendment to our implementing legislation up its sleeve, which is to provide a bar to executing an arrest warrant where the state that is after the person hasn't yet decided to charge or try them. But what really lies behind this is the fact that the legal systems of some member states, happily not the Republic of Ireland, are very bad about making people stay in prison a long time before trial and very slow in bringing cases to trial. Since 2009 there has been a move at EU level to produce further legislation trying to raise the standards of the treatment of suspects and defendants in European criminal justice systems 
and ultimately if we keep the European arrest warrant it's to be hoped that this roadmap of measures is carried through and achieves a good result.